Well, after some scattered evening showers and a few thunderstorms, our Friday night will actually be mainly dry, but showers and storms come back at a Saturday, and those storms will concern us a bit. There is a chance for some severe weather. As we get into the evening, there will be a little bit of a line of some wet weather trying to move north through the QCA, but once it does get to the north, we're likely dry for the rest of the night. As a matter of fact, as we jump towards Saturday, we do see that slight risk of severe weather coming our way from the west. Not only hail and wind, but unfortunately some more heavy rain, possibly some tornadoes as well with the system that crosses through the area uh, later on Saturday. But even early in the day, we could be seeing some showers and thunderstorms. Friday evening, there go the showers and storms to the north, dry overnight. But watch what happens by mid to late morning on Saturday. We get another line of storms coming our way. Some of these could be strong, even severe. And then as we transition into the afternoon, yet another disturbance rolls along that line. So into the evening, storms become strong once again. Can't rule out an isolated tornado with those thunderstorms, but it will be warm and humid in the meantime. South southwest winds on Saturday get our highs up to the low 80s, a little on the windy side. Strong thunderstorms again from the morning and then again in the afternoon and evening hours, windy and warm. And as we look at the seven day forecast, well, we'd like to be showing in some more dry weather, but that won't be the case. Sunday rain early, but that will wrap up dry Monday. Tuesday into Wednesday, we could see some showers and storms and then again Thursday and Friday with highs starting off at the 60s next week, eventually ending up near 80.